Hey, today I want to show you a really cool TypeScript trick that lets you extract words from a string. It's really neat. And honestly, it's something that I thought TypeScript couldn't even do. Well, turns out it absolutely can. And it's super cool. Let's take a look at how it works together. So here's the use case. We have a bunch of colors like text yellow 500, text violet and text blue 500. And only these are actually defined. And then we have a function const find color where we can pass in a color as a string and return the color from this array we have right up here in the colors that matches the color that we pass in. For example, if we pass in the find color and then yellow, then we would get back the text yellow 500 because it searches for the color in our array and gives us back whatever match it finds. However, the problem you can probably already tell is that we can allow any string in here for the color, which means I could even pass in a color like green and this color is not defined anywhere in the array. Therefore, we wouldn't get a color back. And what we would get back from this function is just undefined because there is no green color in here. So how cool would it be if there was a way with TypeScript to be only able to pass in a color that is already defined right here in the array. So the find color would give us an error if we pass in anything else that is not yellow, violet, or blue. And the cool thing is with TypeScript, there is a way to do just that. Let's comment out this example and focus on the most simple use case that illustrates how we are able to do this. So let's say the cons color is, for example, text red 500. Now let's declare a generic. Let's call it type extract color. And this will be kind of like a function, not literally, but in that it takes something like a function argument, which is called a generic in TypeScript. And we can say by saying extends that this will be of type string. So wherever we call this um, extract color later, we're only able to pass it a string and it would, for example, error if we passed it a number. But that's just for later. First off, we have a big syntax error here that we need to fix. And it turns out in TypeScript, you can actually use ternary operators. So we can do a check if the S extends. And then, by the way, this right now could be any string. We don't know. But we can check if it matches this format up here. So if S extends text red 500, then that means text red 500 was passed in as a generic argument for s. Let's see what that looks like. And if it is, then we were going to make the type be red. And if it's not, then for now, let's just say it's not red. This is valid syntax. And let's see what happens. If we say type color is and pass in the text red 500, what we expect to happen. And by the way, of course, this needs to be equal to the extract color utility type we have defined above. If this matches the text red 500, the S that we're passing in, then it should say red. So if I hover over this color, it should say red because what we passed in is the text red 500. If it was anything else, like text blue 500, this ternary check right here would fail and we would see not red if we hover over this color type. And by the way, if we're going to be passing in the uh, text directly, we can just get rid of the constant. Okay, this is cool and all, but we kind of just hard coded everything. And how do we actually get the color? So text red, text blue, text whatever we pass in here, we want to end up as the color. So in this case, this should be blue and not not red. And the way we do that is super cool with a keyword that is the infer in TypeScript. So let's change this to a template string. And the way we can infer this middle part, the color that we care about, is by using a dynamic value in here and using the infer keyword. And let's just call it R. So what we just did is save this value that is in between these two hyphens as the R generic that we can simply pass back from this function. And else we can pass back not red, not a color, or we can even pass back the original value that we passed into here. So let's take a look at what just happened. If we hover over the color now, we can see it's blue because we inferred the blue part, this part right here that we pass in as the generic. Then we do a conditional check. Does it extend by that? And if it does, then this R value will contain the color in the middle because we made like a little pattern for it that scans the color. So if this was anything I want, because it's between these two hyphens right here, that's going to end up as the color. But in our case, of course, that's going to be blue or red or yellow, whatever the R is going to be inferred as. That's what we're returning if we have this format that is being passed into the generic. And that way it ends up as our color. How awesome 
problem is that? And we can even now apply this to our bit more complicated example at the very top, where right now we could pass in green a color that is not defined and that would not work. And we want to infer these typed colors with TypeScript. The way we do that is let's move the generic up top so we can actually use it. And then we can do a very simple thing in here. We can, as the parameter, accept the extract color function and we can pass in as the generic, oops, like that, the type of colors at a certain number. And just like that, if we take a look at what we get back just from this separately, type example is gonna be equal to that, just so we can hover over it, we can see this is gonna be a string. And if we type the colors as const, then we will be able to see, if we hover over this again, it's gonna be yellow, violet, or blue. Only the colors we have to find up here in or array. And if we get rid of that, now we actually get the arrow in the find color green. If we take a look at what we can pass in, it's only the colors we have to find in the array, blue, violet, and yellow. And if we change this to something like red, then for example, we could also see that it's type safe in real time, just like that. And we can pass in only the values that we know exist in the array. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this trick as much as I do. Learning this stuff is just really cool and being able to share it with you guys is even cooler because this was like a real use case in my app and now it's just a better, higher quality code app that's just more fun to write in. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one until then and bye bye.